Do you know what this weather means for your flying? Becoming an expert at reading the sky is an important part of becoming a pilot. Can you name these clouds? This is Cumulus and some distant alto stratus taken from the flight deck by my academy member Jean-Baptiste. We normally expect cumulus to form during the day when the sun heats the ground to make thermal updrafts. So how is this working? There is only very weak sunlight shining on water. Water vapor is the secret. The air is moist and it only needs a slightly warm ocean current to warm a patch slightly more than the surrounding air to produce a thermal. As it rises, the moist air quickly condenses and releases latent heat, which helps boost the updraft. This is radiation fog. The ground is cooled overnight, and this has cooled a thin layer of air, enough to make the moisture condense. The air above the fog is slightly warmer and drier, so it's clear all the way up to the cirrus. Once gaps start to form in the blanket, you could safely glide down to the valley. But if you're hoping to stay up, you'll have to go much higher into the mountains. Or wait until the mist has burned off and the valley has heated up significantly. Probably after many hours. This is Cumulus Mediocris. If it was a bigger scale, it would be called Congestus. But this one is just a healthy cumulus that is growing over a good ground source, with the wind coming from the right. So each pulse is drifting to the left with the wind and building a connected mass of cloud. The strongest lift would be under the new development. You could escape from this easily by flying towards the camera. These are lenticular clouds. Paragliders fright sailplanes delight the legendary sierra wave in owens valley california shot by academy coach patrick switzer although it might look like cirrus or cirrus stratus this cloud won't move because it's forming in the wave as air is deflected upwards by the mountains and cools and descends again downwind and warms this indicates extremely strong wind This is stratocumulus and altocumulus with some strange fractus in the mid layer, like a cloud forming on a cloud. It shows that the air is laden with moisture. So I'd be wary of the sun breaking through to the ground here. If a thermal updraft moves through this, it will trigger a lot of latent heat energy to rise and mostly spread out in all directions. This is a pyrocumulus. The inversion layer is too strong to allow for ordinary cumulus, but where the fire is burning, the air is superheated, so the smoke rises high enough to push some air through the condensation level. As soon as the cloud drifts away from the abnormal heat source, it collapses again. This is a raised eyebrow cloud from the Swiss Meteor blog. According to the article, this cloud has no official name yet, but it's called an eyebrow cloud or altocumulus supercilium and surely indicates some kind of lifting air, although I'm not sure I'm brave enough to explore it on my paraglider. It looks turbulent and weird with those multiple Peleus caps. Any sailplane pilots like to comment? Would you go in there? This is Mamatus. When the cloud base begins to gather in these grape-like sacks, you can expect heavy rain, hail, and lightning, or heavy downdrafts. But not always. Sometimes nothing happens. But I still don't trust it, and I would land right away because everything upstairs is hidden from view. This is Cumulus. Okay, I have to admit to being slightly obsessed with the cumulus cloud, especially the kind that forms on convergence lines. 
The edge of the cloud is less than 45 degrees off the horizon. So it's time to escape towards the sunshine on the left here. This is Virgo. You get this when rain falls from the cloud but evaporates before reaching the ground. This gives the cloud a distinctive mushroom-like appearance. You can get severe downdrafts where the evaporation cools the air in a big area. And this drops due to the same fluid dynamics that make thermals go up. This is Convergence. Stefan Asmus snapped this great photo of flying along the edge of the Convergence, with marked differences in the cloud bases indicating the different air masses coming together. The air to the left is cooler and moist and is pushing into the backside of the mountains. The air from the right is warmer and drier and is riding upwards over the wall. If you stay to the right, you can ride this line forever. This is Cumulonimbus. The winner of the Academy photo competition was David Larivia with this amazing shot of dry lightning in a cumulonimbus cloud late at night in Phoenix, Arizona, at the very tail end of the monsoon season in September. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more like this. Learn from more examples in the full version on flywithgreg.com. Take your flying to the next level by joining my academy. Members get instant access to the online weather course, where I will teach you how to recognize dangers, identify opportunities, and master the forecasts to find great flying conditions. It's just part of the highly rated program of progression that many pilots have used to build their flying skills fast. Let me show you the system in action. Watch Paraglide Like a Pro.